Let's have a closer look at the heavily upgraded Williams FW44B. Also, Williams now joined the club of the large downwashing side pods. As we guessed in the first videos about the 2022 F1 cars, the wide side pod design would give you the best opportunity to keep the front rear wake outside. At the same time, the downwashing side pod drags clean air from above downwards towards beam wing and rear wing. This provides cleaner flow to the back, which results in more downforce. The first races of the season confirmed that theory, with large side pod cars in front and also Aston Martin changed from their high undercut design to the downwashing wide side pod design. So far, Williams had not enough downforce, the car was very sensitive and had pretty high tire wear. Now for the British Grand Prix, Williams brings the biggest upgrade package we have seen so far. It's even bigger than Aston Martin's and includes side pod, center cooling, suspension, diffuser, rear corner, front wing. Very impressive here is that while a small team like Williams could have kept the cooling concept the same and only bring bigger side pods with the same packaging underneath, they also changed the cooling system and side pod inlets massively, which was a lot of design work on the aero and mechanical side. Instead of having this large high sitting double radiator package in the center, they now have a traditional single radiator sitting straight in the center. This will also lower the center of gravity. If we look at the side pod, we can see an Alpine style inlet, a Ferrari like bluff wall at the side and a long downward slope like a Red Bull. The high undercut underneath the inlet creates high pressure which helps to push the front rear wake as far outboard as possible. The bluff wall at the side keeps the wake outboard and the long slope drags clean air towards the rear corner, which is also new, and the beam wing. At the same time, the wide side pod leaves less floor area exposed, which helps with stiffening the floor. That, in return, could help to reduce bouncing, which could allow them to drive the car lower, which then would increase downforce and reduce drag. So there is a long list of advantages and this might not be the last team to upgrade to this concept. On track, Williams tried to gather as much information as possible. They used keel probes on the left hand side to compare track data to CFD and to check if the tire wake really does what it's supposed to do. And they used massive flowless paint on the right hand side to check the flow patterns. Teams would normally do this on the other side to avoid other teams seeing it while driving through the pits, but I guess Williams thought they will see it anyway. And also, all these cars are designed on the left hand side and then mirrored. So the car data in CAD is always on the left hand side. So it's easier and faster to design aero rakes on the left. The flow vis shows us some strong outwash in front of the side pod and clean attached flow on top. Also, the coke area is much less aggressive than before, which helps to get more energy to the back. So all in all, it's impressive to see the amounts of upgrades Williams brought to the track and it's no surprise that they could only bring it from one car. Let's hope Albon doesn't crash it until the race starts, because there will be little to no spares for this. And it would be great to see Williams performing better than before. See you at the next video.